I'm Marty Moore, owner and driver of the Hemi Express Wheel Standard. Welcome to my Hot Rod Garage. Hey Carl, what's up? Not much, how you know, buddy? Oh, about the same. Yeah. Yep. Hey, I got them stripes up. Yeah, where'd you get the carbon fiber? Got the carbon fiber, but yeah. Cool. Think we can get them things installed or what? Well, sure, we can put them on. All right. Sounds like a plan. All right, you headed home? Yep, yeah, I'll be home there in about 30 minutes. All right, I'll be over in a little bit. All right, we'll see you. All right, man. Okay. All right. What I'm not telling Carl is I've never put a stripe set of them stripes on a Challenger, but I'm 100%. I've never messed the set up, so you know my model. We've done so much for so long with so little. We're not qualified to do anything with nothing, so it ain't like it's a big deal. It's a Hellcat Red Eye, but probably $150,000 car. What's the worst we could do? <laughs> oh boy. That's pretty nice right there. That's a Hellcat. That's a red eye. Right there's the the red eye and the cat right there. That's what signifies it. And another thing I think on these red eyes, they're like the uh, demon, like the demon Hellcats. I think they have the uh, 220 mile an hour speed on there. Yeah, you can see it, 220. Well, I guess we'll try to figure out what goes where. Start, uh, oh boy. I ain't never put a set of these on. Hope I don't screw this up. I think what we need to do, maybe is take this wing off here. I don't know what holds that on, but we'll figure out what holds that wing on. We'll get that wing off the back. And then not sure on the front here if we're supposed to cut around these, take these out and fold it under. I'm not sure. I'll look it up and see what... Uh, Guys, this might be the hardest part of the job here. See the clip on the inside here. I see it there. I don't know if I'm getting it or not. There you can see it. And then out here, you can see where this double face tape. See where we have to get this up. There you can see that clip. Yeah, see the clip right there? Coming out and the bolt there on the corner. That seems like the hardest part is getting the spoiler off. But if we just walk it through here, make sure you don't scratch your paint. It's a coming, it's just time consuming. And there's supposed to be three clips. There's one on the, there's a bolt on the corner and then three clips across, oh yeah. It's coming off there.
Good thing this ain't a very expensive car. All right, guys, I think the hardest part was getting that spoiler off. There they are on the deck lid. Man, I like that carbon fiber. We will have to uh, remount the uh, wing back there. Whoop. Get her all squeegeed out and stuck down good. But we done that first because I think that was the hardest. I think that was the hardest part. Man, that's gonna be nice. You like that, Carl? You bet. That is gonna be nice. Seemed like good material too, y'all. Yep. All right, guys. Let me tell you. I joke around a, a lot on my channel here, but I'm telling you this here. I'm not professional doing this. I'm sure that there's guys that do this every day. They're going to say, what are they doing? I'm just showing you what has worked for us over the years. We was never able to afford stuff and we just made do with what we had. So this is how I do it. And this is what's worked for me. We got everything marked out here. We're going to pry this rubber up here. We let this go a little bit long, so we'll go in behind the rubber with this. This is what I'm spraying with is like a little Dawn dishwashing. And whatever you do, you don't want this fold in against itself because then you're screwed big time.
guys, you can see what I'm saying here. Well, we got it under this rubber. We're still getting some water out of there. And then see here where we wrap this back here. top goes up you don't have a cut line there oh yeah well I don't know how the pros do it but that's how we do it whether it's right or wrong you only got to stay on the 200 mile an hour we should be good all right, we'll put this back one on back here. Keep moving on. All right, here we are. We got her done. There she is, all done. Here you can see where we folded all these in. Yep, I think it added a bunch. Let me show you a little bit of old school here, guys. All right, guys, those of you who watch my videos, you know I'm an old school guy. So that being said, See, this is old school. This is a 440, 446 pack, 
You know, these cars right here, back in the day, this thing was putting out probably 395, 395 or something like that. These cars were, I like to call this, like back in the day, this is old school muscle right here. This is a 446 pack, four speed, pistol grip Dana. Now, back in the day, I call it white knuckle drive. These things come with bias plies tires. So, and I noticed Steven on that video with me as a wagon the other day, I would grab the wheel like that, which my wife, my girlfriend at the time, she always knew when stuff was about to get real, because I'd grab the wheel like this, both hands, I call it white knuckle drive. These things, the way they ran, with bias ply tires, you better get a hold of the wheel and be pointed the direction that you want to go when you get on. Because this was old school muscle. This, I love these cars. I love it. That being said, 120 miles an hour in this car, you better have a hold of it and know where you're going. Because you was doing some white knuckle drive. Now here is your new school compared to this which you got to be a rocket scientist to work on this thing. The difference in these cars though guys, like I say, is the Roadrunner sitting in there, 120 miles an hour, you better have a hold of it. This car right here, 120 miles an hour, you got the air conditioner going and, and you're tuning the radio and talking on the phone. It just does it so easy that it's unbelievable. And performance wise, it kills me to say this guys, because I am old school. But performance wise, you're not even comparing apples to apples. I mean, this car it is, you're not even on the same page. Like I say, the Roadrunner 446 pack, probably 395 horse, 400 horse. Carl's got his, that's a 500 inch motor, but it, but even at that, you're, you know, you're four, four and a half, something like that. These, I think the stock Hellcats are 717, is that right, Carl? 707, right? 707, yeah. okay, and a red eye is what, 797? Mm -hmm. So you're talking basically double what the Roadrunner has. And these things, they do it so easy and it's just un unreal how smooth they are but guys i'm telling you if you never if you never rode one of these you don't know what you're missing you don't know what you're missing they're they're scary fast absolutely scary fast but anyhow we got the we got the stripes put on this one the carbon fiber i think she turned out pretty good